there's more. This is the third one now, Sunday, the 8th. To me, it's so obvious that we are living in the period leading up to the end times, really. There's such trouble in the world. And it, the sort of polarizing effects of, of I don't know, the Muslim Christian thing and this credit crunch going on. And people have thought this before, that is true. And I thought that the Second Coming would be in, in the first century and so on. Other people kind of trawl through the Bible and say it'll be on such and such a day. Christ said that only the Holy Spirit knows, not even Christ knew the exact date, as it were, just within. But, for instance, throughout Europe, there was Martin Luther posted his theses in, on the castle wall, 95 theses in Latin, castle wall at Wittenberg, which was a known way of communicating. Prince primarily, it's a town in Germany, primarily railing about indulgences, i.e. the Pope of the day said, we, the big church, the Roman Catholic Church, will forgive your sins, but give us the money. But it wasn't just Martin Luther, the Holy Spirit moved throughout Europe. There was uh, Thomas More. Henry VIII and he wanted the son and so he broke off, that was the Church of England, the Protestant movement starting. And all sorts of stuff happened, uh, the Lutherans obviously started then and then you know, moved in, uh, all sorts, all throughout Europe, that, that sort of the Renaissance happened, that was the next century, Italy and so on. Um, one doesn't need the internet, <laughs> it's useful. But the Holy Spirit will just communicate, and I believe is communicating. I don't get sort of visions or direct messages, but I do sometimes just know something. I've been led through a series of events, and then I'll come to an understanding of something. I've seen that on a number of occasions in my life. And my spirit is completely open to this. I'm listening, I'm praying. I'm very often up at the hours of one, two, three, four, five in the morning praying and just up, pot of tea and whatever. But I'm receptive to whatever it is that I should be receiving. I'm here. This is what I'm here to do. I'm a living Christian. Part of the business of this pilgrimage is that you get insults held, held at you and so on. Well, bless the you know, those who are persecuted in my name, etc. So, there we are. But I long for this, not to be alone in my faith. So, We'll see. One lives in hope, one goes on in faith, in hope, in love. Mm. This love for you, my Lord, is such a powerful force. <coughs> such a powerful force to just sweep all the forms. You have faith. I'm blessed. I will share it. <laughs> <laughs>